What is up guys, it's Trinity here and today what we're going to be doing is going over this match. So I'm showcasing this ice deck that we have here. Uh, this is from my opponent's point of view, so that's why it looks a little bit weird. Um, so basically I have two Glaceons, uh, I have an Articuno, Suicune, Suicune obviously for that sheer cold, and he is it's basically a full heal. And then we have Kyurem with because of his ability. Now Avalog is because of his ability, and then half of him is going to be a dodge, and then he also has Ice Fang. So, so we want to freeze all of these Pokemon, and then basically either exclude them with Sweet Tune or keep them frozen with Kyurem. That's basically those their part. So we're going against my opponent. Now I'm going to go over this duel because this is kind of how it's supposed to work. Now, obviously, this isn't the most OP deck, but I think it works pretty nice, and uh, I like it. I like it. I'm probably going to try out more stuff. Now, uh, last video, we went over the, the Queen's Cup, yeah, the Queen's Cup, and Rotom and Frost Rotom got out, so maybe I'll try out Fro Frost Rotom. So basically, here I have Avalug. Now, Avalug's ability lets Ice-type Pokemon go through him, so I can do this. Put Kyurem there without a problem. And I have a look, can also switch with other ice type. So basically, if I get rushed, I can put two Glaceons over here and then be switching Avalog. Now, the bad thing about that is that Avalog has to either move or attack. There's no end turn. So that, that's the only bad part. So here we're double, ch double chanting and going through Avalog and attacking me. So I was like, okay, if he lands Psychic, I'll just double chance for a Diamond Dust. And I land the 30 versus the 41, KO him. So, there you go. Uh, I think he sent out, yeah, Ivero defensively. And I'm like, okay, does he have long throw? No, I checked his plates. Uh, and I'm like there. And I, I was going for the Diamond Dust on him. But I get knocked out. Now, I only have one double chance. I am running a double chance, turtle jump, max revive, gold block, and the never melt ice. Though the never melt ice, I just use it at maybe as a stall or to buff up either Articuno or Kuro. So I put a uh, Suicune there just to like stall him, and then I max revive, and then go again. <laughs> We're trying this again. Uh, I'm not sure if he has max revive. I think he does. I think my opponent should have max revived here instead of just going for his goal. And then I attack again. I'm like hoping, hoping for the diamond dust. And I land it. So, okay, this is the first try. Now, I'm not sure if my opponent tried to do something here. Like, he, I'm not sure if he tried to uh, wake him up. Now, he could go through, honestly, now that I see it from my opponent's point of view, I could have gone with Glaceon and then potentially surrounded the with Suicune. So, misplays, misplays. I think he... Okay, okay, I remember. I saw it, but I was like, no, what if Glaceon gets surrounded or KO'd? So, I decided to go with Articuno. So, yeah, I saw it too late, guys. Then he attacks me, gets the dimensional slip, and I'm like, oh, yeah. All right, so... He makes me respin. I get the dodge, unfortunately, so that means that Deoxys is still going to be here for a little while. So I'm moving in my Articuno just in case if Glaceon gets knocked out. Now, Avalog is right there in the corner. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave him there. I'm not going to attack with Suicune. Just put pressure, I guess. And he attacks me, but I think I survived. Yeah, he, I get another dodge. Glaceon, Glaceon was key in this match. I attack just like it's whatever. I mean, I can land Diamond Dust or she can land Dimensional Slip. And either way, if I die, I can just put Articuno. So basically, he already he's down to four Mons. He gets the Dark Mist, I get the Tackle. And the reason is because he can't unfreeze Circuitry and Muse Knocked Out and Entry Point to Lock. And. He goes again, he gets a dimensional slip. I'm not sure if in this turn he does get it. Yeah, he does get it. So bye bye, Deoxys. He goes back to the bench. Now it's down to three mons. And one, he can't move because it's a goal point. Uh, he's the goal, the goal blocker. He and he attacks me. I think I get diamond dust on the Oblivion League. 
So at this point, he's already down to two mons. And he can't unfreeze any of them because of Kiram. So I'm thinking, okay, what if, what if we can freeze Ampharos? But no, sadly, I get knocked out. And we're um, a little bit... Alright, so he goes for the Ampharos site, and I'm like, okay, uh, what what is that going to do? Oh, yeah, it's going to bring Mew back. And I'm like, okay, so I need to be a little bit precautious here, because if he knocks out Glacier, he can move in DOA. So um, I just moved in Articuno, maybe. Alright, so he X attack, and I was like, oh my god, get Shuttle Flip or get Dodge. Either or. He lands the Shuttle Flip, but I get to tackle so I'm safe, and I'm like, okay, all right. Now, I was okay. I uh, I moved Articuno that way. I can surround it. And I was thinking here, well, do I do I start switching because Avalok also switches with Frozen Pokemon? But I was like, no, because if I switch with Kyurem, then he's going to be able to heal back his Evetal, and we don't want that. So he. Double chances. I think he does get the knockout on this one. He gets the psychic. Yeah, he gets a psychic, knocks out Glaceon. So there you go. Um, then I think I go in with Kyurem. I block the entry point, and he still can't unfreeze. Now here, he he uh, hurl jumps with um, uh, Electros. Electros. And I surround, I'm like, okay, it's alright. And he defended with Dio. I think he should have applied more pressure. Now I'm like, okay, it's alright. I'm going to block his way just in case if he starts moving with Electros. I'm like, okay, now's the time. Now I can surround, uh, now I can block with Free Tune. He attacks me, and I'm like, okay, but half is dot. He gets Shockwave, I get Hyper Beam. And I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I just need him to survive. I surround with Articuno. Now it's just Ampharos. Two frozen Pokemon that can't do anything. And his Electros. So he attacks me again. Uh, Ice Fang is now the miss. He lands a Hyper Beam. I mean, I land the Hyper Beam. He gets the Wild Charge. He knocks out uh, my Avalog. And I move my Glaceon right in front of him. And I was like, okay, what if he moves to my entry point? Uh, I think... Honestly, I think this was maybe the best play he could have done right here. Because his uh, his Electros is really slow. Now, I could have just started putting in Glaceons and protecting. So, basically the same strategy. And I'm hoping for a Diamond Dust. If it's a Diamond Dust, it's over. It's pretty much GG. I put Articuno in over here. He attacks again. And I'm like, okay, Diamond Dust, but it's on the dodge. So I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. And I was thinking, should I move in with Articuno? And I decided not to. Um, I just applied the, the Never Mouth Ice, as I said before, it's like a stall. So I'm like, okay, come on, just freeze him. I get knocked out, unfortunately. unfortunately I was like, okay, it's fine. I'll just put in Articuno. So if Articuno lands his, uh, if he lands his uh, 130, it's going to be KO. So okay, I'm like, okay, just survive, just survive a turn. That way I can get Avalok. So I land the Roost. Fortunately, I do uh, against the Shockwave. Now my Articuno is right now level four. I want to get him to level ten like my Zapdos, but right now he's just level four. Now, I move in Avalog right here. He keeps attacking. That's pretty much his only option. And he already knocked out like three Pokemon. I are, like Avalog was the first one that defended it, him, and now he's already back. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be moving in Avalog. And then again, the 90 versus the 130. Again, another knockout. So I'm like, okay, well, does he have a hurdle jump? I checked, he didn't. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna move here. He attacks, and I'm like, okay, don't get knocked out, please. And then, bam, the Ice Fang. The reason I chose Avalog kicks in. And he's frozen. 
I just move in with Glaceon here. He literally cannot do anything except attack an entry point. Now, I think he, he gets the sheer cold, and that's a GG. I have both entry <coughs> entry points blocked, and then he has I he has three frozen Pokemon, two in the PC, and one with Wade. That's GG. And that's pretty much it guys, that's pretty much how this deck is supposed to work. It's supposed to freeze and then you're supposed to keep them frozen or either exclude them. Uh, have excluded, I think a top of Koko before with Suicune, but Suicune honestly you need to either have him like level 5 or even better level 10, that way it's uh, his sheer cult is more consistent. But I guess that's just me. Anyways, that's going to be it, guys. I'll keep testing this deck and tell me your opinions, what I should change, what I should do, add, or whatever your opinion is on this deck. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.